Hi, I'm Chad, and welcome back to Button Willow Raceway Park. It'll be my first time going clockwise since CRA round one of 2022 back in February, but today we are running configuration number one. I have usually run configuration 13 when we've gone clockwise here. So the only difference between one and 13 is one of the last turns on the track. With configuration one, you go out to Star Mazda, which is this very sharp right-hander when you're going clockwise, as opposed to the sweeper, which is a sweeping right. So gonna be a little bit different, but you know, the rest of the track's the same. So 80, 85% is gonna be known, but I'm excited to get out there. This is a configuration that we're gonna be racing in July. So I understand. So good to get some practice in before then and before Laguna next week. So with that said, let's go find our way around the track. go configuration number one second time on Pirelli slicks and I also had to make a last minute change to my brakes <laughs> last night so I had some spare Rota center grip pads so slightly less aggressive compound but gotta do what you gotta do luckily though they're pretty similar so hopefully they'll blend nicely with the x-ray pads that I've been using as far as the material on the rotor goes Oh, it's so good to be back here, running this configuration. A couple other people out here with a little more speed than me. It's my outlap after all. Missed all of my downshifts, but we're going. <laughs> okay, so that comes up on you a little bit faster than I would have thought. But that was Star Mazda. Oh man, you fly through here, wow. is what we're looking for. Wow, it's super late. That is where I'm supposed to be going. You go flying through there. Woohoo! Feels like home. Got 
got Mr. I am Carson N up ahead of me and Mad Maxi. Oh, you mean the, the wind deflector? Oh. Yeah, I took it out. More airflow.
almost out of breath. Whoo wee. Start mods is tough. Definitely braking. Not as strong as they need to be. Getting a little bit of fade too on my brakes. Uh, maybe the pads. As I said before, don't have my lovely x race pads on. Have some taken off for roto center grips, which are still pretty grippy pads, but not quite what I'm used to. This might be getting a little bit of fade from those. Ah, I'm tired. Jeez. better on that last one got a little bit of food in me I think I hadn't eaten enough today got one of those quick hydrate things as well mixed into my water so I think that helped that was a good one do you practice start start yeah <laughs> Maybe not the best start, but I like this. <laughs> Get some heat back in these brakes. Got a little train right here too.
so that's a wrap all loaded up and it's time to head home and i'm exhausted it was a great day had a lot of fun it was great to see configuration one for the first time star mazda adds quite a bit more time more than i expected for sure my best time of the day was 203.23 my pace configuration 13, which has sweeper instead of Star Mazda, so the track's a little bit shorter, about 0.12 miles, something like that. But configuration I run usually 13 is a little bit shorter. And my best time is a one minute 56.927 or 967. But I was doing, again, 203s here. So hopefully when we get out here in July for the races, it won't be too hot and I can improve on that time and maybe get under two minutes. But it was a lot of fun. Had a great time riding with my friends, Adam, Nigel, and Jason. We had a blast in the garage hanging out. Had a little pit crew come in too, some of Nigel's friends. So great to meet everybody. Had a blast. It was a little, just a really fun day overall. Super good. Bike was feeling good. The Pirellis were doing good again. Got some good wear on the rear tire and the front as well. Again, running on the SC2s. This was my second day and the great tires. They just feel super planted. Again, at Button Willow, not quite as much feedback compared to the Dunlops, but still good i had a great time and i felt confident and comfortable on the bike for the most part just uh again took a little while to get back up to speed since it had been the first time that i'd run button willow in a clockwise direction in a while but once i got moving i was feeling pretty good on the bike i had to make a last minute switch with my brake pads so i was running Ferrodo center grip pads which are a less aggressive pad than the x-race pads that i would normally use i should have checked my brakes after auto club but with the move and everything it just slipped my mind i checked them the night before i was going to drive out here and i was like i should probably switch those and luckily i had a set of takeoff or was able to make a set of takeoff center grip pads which are the pads that i run on my tuono so it was good brakes were good got a little bit of fade throughout the day so that might have been the pads but gotta clean my brake calipers and the pistons up before we go to Laguna in just about a week. So super excited for that, feeling as good as I can be, and I'm pumped to get racing again. Now this will probably be the last video that I post for a couple weeks because I am going up to Laguna Seca and I'm making a whole trip out of that with my girlfriend Hillary. She's gonna hang out with me while I race for the weekend and then after that we're gonna spend a few days up in the Monterey area. So just relaxing, trying to get away from everything and just take a break and recharge a little bit. So not gonna edit the footage from Laguna Seca until I get back and get a little bit more settled into returning with work and just getting back to getting your house ready and situated. But more content will come in a couple weeks. So appreciate you guys and your patience and all the support that you've been giving me to this point for the channel. It means a lot to me and really keeps me motivated to keep making videos when I go out and do this stuff. But with that, I'm gonna go ahead and wrap this one up. So thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, I would sincerely appreciate a gentle little click of the like button. And if you consider subscribing for more motorcycling content like this, like I said, I'm going up to Laguna Seca in a week to race and just at an amateur level, but nevertheless, it's still a race. So we'll be content from that in a couple weeks and I do motorcycle stuff all the time. I love it, it's my passion and I love sharing it with everybody out here, all of you. And again, really appreciate your support. So thanks again so much for watching and I hope to catch you in the next one. Until then, later.